The Naruto we know is that child who suffered a lot, overcame his traumas, and became a hero not just for his village, but for the entire world. He also formed a beautiful family. But what if I told you that Naruto has some other versions, alternative versions, but they are official? Yes, come closer because today we are going to learn about all the versions of Naruto. And I'm sure you will leave this video wondering, this is impossible, these aren't official versions of Naruto. Well guys, some may seem absurd, but they are official versions of Naruto. Come closer to know all of them. We have Naruto in school, Naruto as a villain, Naruto with his whole family, and much more. Some are cute, and in some, Naruto isn't so nice. Normal version? Let's start by talking about the normal version of Naruto. He is that child who grew up without parents because they sacrificed themselves during the Nine Tails Fox attack, giving their lives to save the boy. Instead of the village seeing him as a hero, a symbol of heroism containing the Nine Tails Fox, everyone began to look at him as a demon. In other words, Naruto faced a lot of discrimination as a child. Imagine a child living in a village where practically no one likes him. Tense, right guys? This greatly shaped Naruto's personality. But instead of turning into a villain, he became a good guy, wanting to show his best and trying to be a hero. However, he did not become a hero in all versions. After overcoming many obstacles, defeating various enemies, and surpassing a journey full of challenges, Naruto became a hero for the village, and later for the entire shinobi world. Thus, he formed bonds with Hinata Hyuga, and built a family, having two children. It's a beautiful story of challenges and overcoming. It's very cool when we see Naruto in Boruto, having his family, being Hokage and all. I think it's very nice. Menma from Tenten's Dream If things were bad for the normal version of Naruto, in this version, he did very well. Naruto is a charmer, a village heartthrob, and a hero, being the strongest in the village. Yes, things went well for Naruto here. Finally, the humiliated have been exalted at least in this version, for our little Naruto. Well, in Tenten's dream, everything is changed because it's the Sukuyomi dream where Tenten was caught. In this case, things are quite different from the real world. Let's start by talking about Ino. Ino is normally a bit forward, right? But in this dream, she's shy. Sasuke usually doesn't care much about women, despite many being interested in him. But here, He's a guy who tries to flirt with women but doesn't have much success. Hinata, who is shy in the normal world, is quite crazy in this dream, wild and aggressive, wanting to fight everyone. In this version, Rock Lee cares a lot about beauty, very different from the real world, where he doesn't care much about it. Neji is a playboy, better not to comment much on this Neji because he is very different, and Naruto, as I said, is called Menma. His name is changed and he has two women after him, Sakura and Hinata, very different from the real world. Menma's personality is quite different from Naruto's usual personality. While normal Naruto is very extroverted and always shouting, Menma is very serious, has a colder personality and an inflated ego. This cold and selfish personality won the hearts of Sakura and Hinata, unlike in the real world where Hinata already liked him. Additionally. Many people in the village are inspired by Menma and want to be like him. Naruto Pilot Manga For those who don't know, most mangas usually have a pilot manga, a pilot chapter that serves as a kind of draft to see how the audience reacts to the story. After that, various changes are made to the point where the pilot manga's story becomes completely different from the story we see in the complete manga. Well, the pilot manga written by Masashi Kishimoto despite being very different from the classic Naruto story we know, presents some similarities. In this pilot manga, Naruto is the son of the Nine Tails Fox. That's right guys, Naruto is Kurama's son in this version. One of the similarities is that Naruto is a mischievous child and also friendless. Well, Kishimoto decided to keep the worst part of the character. The fox was defeated at the time by nine warriors, eight of whom died, leaving only one person. This person saved Naruto and took him in as a foster father. Since Naruto has no friends, his master gives him the mission of making a friend to prevent him from ending up like the fox, his father. Naruto cannot return home until he completes the mission. How crazy is that? In this quest to find a friend, Naruto ends up meeting Kuroda, 
a drunken artist who passes out in the ramen restaurant. The ramen uncle asks Naruto to take Kuroda home in exchange for some ramen. Upon arriving at Kuroda's house, Naruto meets his assistant who tells the whole story of the painter and explains why he doesn't trust people. After that, an important artwork is stolen and Kuroda's assistant is murdered. If things were already bad for Naruto, he is then accused of killing Kuroda's assistant. The police blame him, but did anyone believe it? No, no one believed it. After several twists and turns, Kuroda takes the blame and Naruto goes in search of the real culprit as Kuroda took the blame to save Naruto. The plot follows Naruto trying to discover the real culprit. This plot is very important in classic Naruto because, as you noticed, there are many similarities in the work, despite being quite different. And guys, this is the first version we have of our Naruto. Konoha Gakuen Den, Naruto in school. Look, this is a pretty crazy version. Instead of taking place in a world of ninjas with powers and all, this version is set in the real world, basically a high school Naruto. It's about Naruto in school, where he's a teenager and all that. There are relationships, but there are also some fights. This manga was written by Masashi Kishimoto, and Naruto is a new student arriving at Konoha High School. Just like in the normal version, Naruto makes a grand entrance, announcing his ambition to become the leader of all of Japan. If before he only wanted Konoha, now he wants all of Japan. His ambition is growing. Sasuke, as in the normal anime, is also somewhat arrogant. So a rivalry is created between Naruto and Sasuke. They even start fighting, but guess how they fight? With yo-yos. That's right, you heard correctly, yo-yos. Though hitting someone in the head with a yo-yo must hurt a lot, I wouldn't want to be hit. Naruto is stronger than the others, causing chaos at the school and defeating several people. Meanwhile, the school teachers, Kakashi, Kurenai, Asuma Sarutobi, Ebisu, and others are observing all this conflict. And guess who the school principal is? That's right, the legendary Senin Tsunade Senju. This manga is really cool and worth reading. Plus, it's pretty short. Menma Uzumaki. Here comes Menma, a Naruto Uzumaki from a parallel universe, featured in the movie Road to Ninja. He is born in a world created by the infinite Tsukuyomi. In this universe, the Nine Tails never attacked Konoha, and Naruto's parents, Minato and Kushina, are alive. Actually, they are Menma's parents, but anyway, it's the same thing, just a different name. Instead of the loneliness Naruto faced, Menma grew up happily, enjoying the love and care of his parents. Here, Kurama is known as the Dark Nine Tails, with a different personality and appearance. Despite this peaceful life, Menma decided to follow another path. The Nine Tails was sealed within him, and he mastered the beast, becoming an S-rank rogue ninja. Menma is the type who wants everything. Keki Genkai, secret jutsus, tailed beasts, all to control the ninja world. In this quest, he joins Tobi, seeking together to create an infinite Tsukuyomi. The fusion of the two grants Menma a Sharingan in his right eye, allowing Tobi to control all abilities through Menma's body. In this version, Naruto gains black hair and a Sharingan. Pretty wild and different from what we imagined, right? Although Menma doesn't show a Biju transformation, he can fully release the fox, almost as if it were a summoning. His rage sinks with the fox, enhancing his control over the fox's powers. Menma feels extreme negative energies, even Kurama's anger, just like Naruto. After Menma and Tobi fuse, Menma's blonde hair turns dark. Menma is an alternative and cool version of Naruto, with a unique appearance, story, and powers. We're also talking about a villain Naruto. For those wondering what a villain Naruto would be like, here we have a completely different version of Naruto. Rock Lee's Seishin full power, Ninden. This version is funny. All the characters are small and big-headed, looking like those Funko Pop figures. In this version, the story is centered around Rock Lee. Yes, our guy who loves to brawl got his moment. He didn't do too well in the Naruto Shippuden anime, but at least he got the big-headed version of Naruto. This spin-off shows the daily life and training of Rock Lee as a ninja. Just like in the normal version, big-headed Rock Lee cannot use Jutsu, Ninjutsu, or Genjutsu, only Taijutsu. Because of this, he struggles a lot on his journey. Additionally, this Rock Lee is a bodybuilder, training a lot and showing off his muscles, very similar to the normal version. 
Naruto appears a few times in this version, but his personality is not altered. All the characters have the same design, appearance, and ambitions. The difference in this version is that it focuses on Rock Lee's adventures and provides comic relief with many jokes and funny scenes. If you like comedy and jokes, it's worth watching. Naruto and Yamato's Tsukuyomi. Well, despite being focused on Yamato, Naruto appears in this dream. In this dream, Kakashi passes the leadership of Team 7 to Yamato, who becomes the permanent captain of the team. He is overjoyed. Naruto is also happy for Yamato being the captain. Have you ever imagined how the universe would be where Yamato was the permanent captain and Kakashi no longer appeared in Team 7? It would be a bit different, right? Naruto and Gara's Tsukuyomi. This Tsukuyomi is quite sad, but also cute. We remember Gara's entire story. In his dream, Gara dreams of having a family where everyone is together, a happy family, very contrary to the reality of his family, which was quite troubled, so much so that his father ordered him to be killed. So, it's complicated. In a very quick scene, everyone appears in a room, and Naruto is calling Gara to play. Little Naruto calling Gara to play. In other words, Gara dreamed of being friends with Naruto from a young age. It's both cute and sad at the same time. It's very likely that in this world, Naruto also had a peaceful life, where his parents weren't killed by the Nine Tails and nothing tragic happened to him. That's why he ends up becoming friends with Gara. Depending on how things went, Minato and Gara's father, the Kazukaj, would probably have been friends. Thus, Naruto and Gara could have formed a friendship, but things turned out very differently. Naruto and Killer B's Tsukuyomi. Killer B's dream is very different and one of the craziest. All the Jinchuriki are imprisoned by their respective villages, considered criminals. The Biju are not inside them, but rather in miniature versions outside the Jinchuriki's bodies, almost like their pets. Very cool and very different, I like this idea. Naruto is imprisoned at the Hokage Monument, and B and the other Jinchuriki try to save him, saying they have a very important mission. In the end, Naruto joins the other Jinchuriki and manages to defeat the Akatsuki in battle. It's a nice union and has a different visual. The Jinchuriki are kind of an organization in this dream. Cool, I like this dream. Naruto in Tsunade's Tsukuyomi. In Tsunade's Tsukuyomi, everything is different. Naruto's parents, Minato and Kushina, are still alive, and they were the ones who sealed Kurama in him. And best of all, the Uchiha clan massacre never happened. So Itachi didn't have to do anything guys. In this scenario, Naruto has a smooth childhood as a Jainin. He, Sasuke and Sakura do great on their missions. After that, Naruto decides to train with Jiraiya for 3 years to become stronger. On the other hand, Sasuke, without his thirst for revenge, decides to become a Konoha police officer. During those 3 years, he trains with the sole objective of becoming stronger than Naruto. It's cool that Sasuke followed in his father's footsteps as a Konoha police officer. When Naruto returns, he and Sasuke have a confrontation and Naruto shows that he is stronger. Sasuke gets upset about this and goes to Orochimaru in search of more power. Some things never change, right? Meanwhile, Naruto has to deal with the attack on Konoha, but he handles it with one of his classic speeches. After the Konoha incident, Naruto sets out to find Sasuke, who is with Orochimaru. The fight between them is very similar to the one in the classic saga. Some time later, the alternate world ends in an even crazier way. Sasuke returns to Konoha, and everyone unites to defeat the Akatsuki, now led by Sasori. That's right guys, pretty wild and hard to imagine. Well, at least it was worth watching this arc. Now, if you like Naruto, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to receive new videos. If you like One Piece, I'll leave a One Piece video on the screen in case you're interested. See you in the next video.